Okay, do you want to know something crazy about this cheesecake? You don't have to bake it. No ovens are involved. We're just going to pop into the freezer to make it, which kind of means it's a cross between an ice cream bar and a cheesecake. Two things I really can't live my life without. So let's make it. The first thing I'm going to do is prepare my pan with some parchment paper. So what I'm going to do is just line it straight into the pan. And I'm creating these flaps on the sides so that it's going to be super easy to lift the cheesecake up after it's done freezing. Just like that. And now it's ready for our crust to find a home in it. So this crust is going to be really nice and textured. It's going to be a little crumbly. It's going to be crispy because it's going to have a really nice creamy filling to go on top of it. I wanted to create that contrast. Everything is going to come together in this food processor. Starting with some raw almonds as the base. This is going to give that really nice crispy crunchy element to the crust. I'm going to toss that in there. And now to sweeten the crust up, we're going to use some dates. I love dates, not the romantic kind, the medjool kind, okay? So we're gonna add these in. This gives a really nice caramel sweetness to the crust, and also it's gonna allow it to be a little bit sticky and pliable, so we can actually just stick it straight into our pan. And now we're gonna add a little bit of creamy almond butter. That straight inside. You can also use the peanut butter, if that's what you have on hand, totally fine with me. I won't judge you. A bit of melted and cooled coconut oil going in there as well. A touch of vanilla extract. And then I like to use a little pinch of salt. This is going to bring out that natural sweetness and create a bit of a contrast. Perfect. I'm just going to scrape down the sides just to make sure nobody is caught, nobody is left behind, and process it again. We're looking good. We want it to be crumbly, but there's also going to be some of those pieces that remain. Now it's time to just pack it into our pan. Okay. Oh no. This is precious crust, precious cargo. We can't waste any of it. Now all I'm gonna do is just press it into my pan. Like this. And you wanna make sure it's evenly distributed throughout the entire pan and you can kind of see that it's sticking together as I tend to pack it. This is going to serve as a really nice home for our creamy, luscious cheesecake filling. It's going to be really happy sitting on top of here. We don't want the edges of this pan to feel unloved. We want the crust to be in there too, so make sure you get those corners as well. Okay. I think this looks pretty good if I ask myself. We're done packing the crust into the pan and now I'm going to go grab the ingredients for our filling. The secret about this cheesecake filling is that it's actually made from cashews. They're super rich and buttery, so they're the perfect ingredient to make really creamy sauces and fillings like we're going to do in this cheesecake. But to get it there, we need to first soak them. You always want to make sure you're starting with raw cashews. These are completely raw and unsalted. And you can either soak them overnight if you have patience and time, or you can do what I did, flash soak them for one hour in hot water until they're nice and soft. You are not going to believe how creamy this cheesecake filling is going to be. We're starting with our raw and soaked cashews, going straight into our blender. Right in there. We're following it up with some coconut milk. I'm using full fat coconut milk here. We're not messing around with the low fat kind. Perfect for a really rich and creamy cheesecake filling. And I think this is a really great time to mention that this is a non-dairy recipe. I don't know if you've noticed, but all of you non-dairy folks out there, rejoice because this is for you. Time for our banana, our star. We rescued it from its fate in the trash, perhaps. All right, pop that straight in there. Just breaking it up so it's a bit easier to blend. And now we're going to go in with our maple syrup. 
The ripe banana is really nice because it's super sweet already, but the maple syrup is just gonna pull it all together. I really like using maple syrup here because it's a really nice, warm, and golden contrast to those rich and creamy cashews. In there, and then a little touch of vanilla extract. Perfect. All right, we're gonna add some melted and cooled coconut oil. Just a touch. Now we're gonna add some lemon juice. This is super important because you've got rich ingredients like the cashews and the full fat coconut milk. So we want the lemon juice to give it that zing and really balance out those rich ingredients. I'm using this to catch the seeds. At home, you can even just put your fingers underneath the lemon and then catch the seeds in your hands. A little DIY. And then to balance everything out, balance that sweetness, bring it out a little bit, I'm gonna add a little pinch of salt. Okay, now it's time to blend. You just really cannot believe it. It's so smooth and so creamy. I wanna show you a little peek. Look at that. I'm gonna taste it a little and see if I think it needs anything. Taste a bit. I'm gonna add a little more lemon juice and a little more salt. You can totally adjust this to your liking. I just like a little more zing. And that salt's gonna really bring out that sweetness. Okay, we're gonna blend again. spoon and taste one more time. Perfect. All right, now it's time for this filling to find a home on top of our crust. And there's no dairy in this. Kind of crazy. I'm gonna grab my spatula. This is precious. I can't waste a bit. Now I'm just gonna make sure that's nice and smooth. You can even tap it a little bit to distribute it like this. Shake it around, make sure it hits all the edges. Now, I like to pretend I'm Picasso a little bit with the toppings, you can use whatever you'd like, but I'm gonna use some sliced almonds, straight on top. Sprinkle them around. I'm gonna do a little bit of cinnamon. And finally, just a little pinch of flaky sea salt. Okay, don't be mad at me because now we have to wait a little bit. We're gonna put this in the freezer for five hours, but I promise you it is going to be worth it. Now I'm just gonna cover it with some plastic wrap so that it's protected. And it goes into the freezer for its kind of long journey. And then it's ready. Patience is so worth it. I'm so excited about this. Just gonna remove my plastic wrap. Look at that. We almost don't deserve it. All right, this is why the parchment paper flaps are the best. We just lift it straight out of the pan like this. And now all I'm gonna do is slice them into little cheesecake bars. What you can also do is slice them into fingers as well if you want more of a bite-sized snack. I'm gonna go ahead for the full picture, the full bar. Look at this. I just have to show you. Can you believe that there's no dairy in this? It looks so creamy. All right, that's for me. This is my slice. I am so excited to dig into this. All right, here I go. It's simply not even fair. It's so creamy. It's such a great way to use the nearly perished banana that's been sitting on your counter. 
creamy, you would never have any idea there wasn't any dairy in this. You know what? I really wish I could eat all of these myself, and I probably would, but I'm gonna be a little nice. I'm gonna send a picture to some friends and see if they wanna have some. Yes, they usually do. No one really ever says no. I mean, why would you? Wouldn't make sense, it's so good. I think I'm gonna deliver some to their houses. I'm such a good friend. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.